How do you guys and welcome back to Edgar TV and today what I want to do is take a look at the PDC World Championships that's just gone and the earnings from that. Now I see a lot of people ask me in the comments section about these sort of videos and I see a lot of people on YouTube making how much did I earn as a YouTuber or what did this and I thought it might be interesting so you guys to have a little look at what the World Championship money is like in terms of what we actually get from that because the prize money is well publicized now it's key to remember when we get to this bottom line figure that this is you know in terms of our income we've got nothing going on in january february december um the world championships does make up quite a lot of that income so it's not just like say the, the one event and what have you so yeah there's um, a lot of things that go into this which is it's quite a nice figure but I think there might be a few things, and I'll show you some of the few hidden costs and things that we can look at. So the first thing is the prize money. So I lost in the second round of the World Championship, which, as you know, is £15,000. If you didn't know, it's well documented everywhere. You can have a little look at that. So let's have a look at what comes off of that £15,000. So total £15,000. So first thing. £300 levy. What this is, is this is the PDPA. So the Professional Dart Players Association, which look after all the players, mental health, all the different bits that they do. Um, they take 2% of prize money, so £300 is 2% of that. We also have to pay a yearly fee to the PDPA, which comes out of the World Championship money. If you're not in the World Championship, this £500 you have to pay sort of at the start of the year to be able to play in the PDC. But if you are in the World Championship, they take that out of the prize money prior to getting that. DRA, this is the Darts Regulation Authority, which enforce the rules. We have to pay an affiliation membership fee to those every year, which is £50. That comes out of the prize money for the World Championships. And this invoice here. So this invoice is for the um, COVID tests. So we have two COVID tests. Uh, done for my guests that came down into the red zone with me and that's how much the, the COVID testing cost. So a total in deductions there of £1,114 which gives me, I'm not going too far down, which gives me a uh, remittance of 13886 minus other expenses which if we have a look what we got, we've got that's the £1,114 that goes on deductions. The hotel, I was there for seven nights. The hotel was £80 a night, £560 uh, for the seven nights I spent in the hotel. Costs, I've put down at around about £200. This isn't exact, but um, that's stuff such as uh, food, travel, getting down there. So different costs and expenses. It probably was a little bit more than this being London, but... I'm going to put 200 but I reckon it was slightly more and then obviously the travel and everything down there is all included in that £200. That gives us a total expense of £1,874, giving us a total earning of the World Championships at £13,126. So £15,000 goes on the rankings, £13,126 pre-tax, remember. So this is before tax. So uh, we have to do our, uh, all dark players are self-employed or limited companies so this will be taxed so expect another 20% probably to come off the top of that so still a bit more to come off of there yet but that's what will be going on to the um, accounts as of when, we, when we're doing them for next year have you liked this video guys would you like to see more videos like this if you do hit the thumbs up button so I know that you like this video let me know in the comment section below subscribe if you're new around here all sorts of dark related content and I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV.